Everyone accepts that we have to transition to a cleaner, greener future. Transgrid's role in that is doing it on time with a good quality, safe outcome at the lowest possible price. Transgrid have been working with Infravision for just over three years and that early investment in a startup company like Infravision is really starting to see the benefits now in terms of what we've got to do going forward. We currently lease two TX systems from Infravision and that's allowed us to innovate with Infravision. Uh, we've been able to problem solve, you know, we've given our people the opportunity to um, try new ways of doing things and currently it's working really well and we're at a point now where it makes good economic sense to, to restring or to string transmission lines with this technology. Transgrid are incredibly uh, forward-leaning uh, in wanting to improve work practices, in wanting to improve safety outcomes to de-risk previously high-risk uh, activities. One of the challenges the country has is that there is so much infrastructure development that the price of labour and the ability just to have the skills to get the volume of work done is really challenging. We've now got the opportunity by using this technology to actually source a whole new group of people. As far as social licence goes, it reduces our environmental footprint. We don't have to go to each structure now. We set up with a smaller footprint than we normally would and we've got less interaction on properties at each structure to be able to restring transmission lines. If we're going to be successful as an industry, we have to innovate, we have to disrupt the way we're doing it. And I want to use Infravision as an example of that. From the top down, from senior executive uh, down to the frontline crews has been a fantastic engagement. What we really would love to see is the drone being used as a tool of trade. Uh, just as common on uh, energy easements as some of the other tools that uh, the linesmen and ground crews would be working in day in and day out. If we only think about doing it the traditional ways, I don't think we'll make 2030, which is when all of this needs to be on, when the transition to clean green energy will really be at the forefront and uh, need to be there. So it's been exciting to spend three years uh, working with Infravision and I look forward to spending the next three years to see how the company goes. Um, and hopefully we can uh, find other opportunities with other small entrepreneurial companies that can think about how they can come and help us disrupt the build out of the transmission system.